Swaraj India President Yogendra Yadav has been detailed in Tamil Nadu's Tiruvannamalai where he planned to meet farmers protesting against a highway project. Minutes after he was detained, he has tweeted alleging that he was manhandled by the Tamil Nadu police. Now, this is, uh, this is what he has tweeted out saying that the Tamil Nadu police has detained me and my team in Chengam. Let me quickly bring in my colleague Pramod Madhav joining me on the phone line with more. Pramod, uh, give us all the details. Well, that is true. Yogendra Yadav has decided to visit uh, Atharvanamalai Gyu because this is one of the uh, uh, districts that fall between Chennai and Salem's proposed eight-way lane with the chief minister uh, was so happy to condemn with the by spending 10,000 crores and this moment it was initiated itself, there has been a lot of protest against it. One being that the lane is not at all required and the second one stating that uh, uh, this particular, uh, a lot of farmlands, proper farmlands are being lost and anybody who were protesting or contesting against it had to face the uh, brutality of the cops. And that's the reason even Madras High Court came so strong against Pramod, them, Pramod I'm sorry to cut you off there, but we have Yogendra Yadav on the phone line with us. Sir, thank you so much for speaking with Mira now. Can you give us details of what exactly has happened? Uh, I'm currently under police detention. Uh, thankfully, I'm still allowed to have my phone. I don't know when it will be taken away. Uh, I'm in district uh, Tiruvannamalai in uh, Tamil Nadu, where farmers are pro have been protesting against an eight-lane way which is being constructed from Chennai to Salem. This, incidentally, is the fourth highway. There, are, there already are three highways connecting the two. This is the fourth road being built. Farmers are protesting. Uh, the acquisition order has not yet been passed. And the police is already entering people's homes. Police is already torturing. So we got all this information. Okay. So some of us came here to do fact-finding to find out whether farmers really don't want this acquisition. And these allegations of police brutality, are they right? And we experienced it ourselves firsthand. Uh, we did a small meeting in uh, a village in the morning. Uh, then we're going for the second meeting. Police stopped us on the way. And this is when five minutes ago, the district collector had assured me that I was under complete constitutional liberty to go and speak to farmers. Within five minutes of that, police surrounds us with a van full of people. Uh, they, uh, they stop us. My colleague who was doing video recording, Arup, he was dragged. In order to save him uh, from beating and violence, I hugged him. I was also dragged, pushed into a police bus, and brought in here. Uh, now uh, the superintendent of police is here, and he says, I am a law and order threat. I asked him, "How? under what law can I be prevented from going and meeting farmers in their own homes? And they say, no, uh, this you are inciting people, you are creating law and order problem, and we would not allow you to do so. Uh, I said, well, in that case, please arrest me if you think so, or at least serve me a legal order. Under what order have you uh, brought me here? They say they want to serve me an experiment order or something of that kind, and I'm waiting for it. So all the things that I'd heard about the brutalities of Tamil Nadu police, it's complete disregard for constitutional legal norms. Mm -hmm. All this is something I experienced personally. So they've not, how, uh, what are their reasons, as you were saying earlier, they've not really given you any reasons for, uh, uh, they for are saying how are you a threat I'm, yeah. to the law and order situation in, in that area? <laughs> That's what I'm asking them. We are four of us completely unarmed uh, with no intention of any kind of violence on a simple fact-finding mission. We are not even on a protest mission. We are not holding any dharna rally, protest of any kind. I actually wanted to personally check whether farmers indeed feel the way I was told. I had read press reports. And I wanted to do personally check it out. And uh, that's why we, were, we had uh, gone to one village, had a lovely half an hour conversation with about 25, 30 uh, farmers who are affected by acquisition. And then we were going to the next village. Um, and they are saying this is a law and order problem. I said, what law and order problem? 100 people would gather to hear you. I said, in that case, what's your problem if 100 people want to hear me? Uh, you should have taken permission. I said, under what law am I required to take permission to go someone's home? So, I'm basically, uh, there is no law, there is no legality, but they would prevent me. So, might is right. Right, right. 
Yogendra Yadav, uh, thank you so much for speaking with Mirror now. We'll try and contact you once again. Uh, this is what's happened. Yogendra Yadav and his team have been detained. Uh, he has tweeted and as you just heard, he came on Mirror now and said that he has alleged that he has been manhandled by the Tamil Nadu police, pushed inside a police van forcefully and then been told by the SP that he is a threat to the law and order situation in that area. Remember, this is after he was planning on meeting with some of the farmers uh, in the area. Uh, remember, there have been ongoing protests regarding uh, the Chennai Salem Expressway project.